Yes, we're back. Looks like there was some issue. Jerome, I blame Jerome. All right. I'm back. I'm live on the weekend. Always live. It's a pleasure to be here and to do what we do. See, that's why I always say it's a pleasure to be of service. It's a pleasure to do what we do, do what I do, and do this and help y'all because it's, you never know, right? And it's like technical issue, right? Or when I was younger, I had the knee surgeries, the hip surgery, I had a difficult time being a service, helping, working, that kind of stuff. That got me into my credit situation. That was a problem, okay? Blackbird Dave says, welcome back. Share case says, well, Gil Bell says, greetings. Looks like individuals are being able to make it back into the chat on the live answering questions, all right? Now, I know y'all don't want me to be too hard on Jerome, but I'm telling you, Jerome will be messing up these technical issues. I'm not going to have it, all right? Dave E is here. Says, hey, Batman of Credit, Dave E, wrote in a great uh, testimonial last live. And um, <laughs> Sherry Cage is laughing. Um, Dave E wrote in a great testimonial um, last live. I uh, had up in the 700 credit scores. He might put it here again, which would be great. Uh, I have it on the email. He's going to read it as well. Um, but I want to make sure that I answer your questions because I know we're. Uh, you know, had the technical difficulty there and kind of uh, back up, running up, up against uh, the time limit here and all that's good stuff. So Christy says, oh, my God, my first time ever. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm super stoked. Excellent. Very good. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them here. Also, see, stuff like that happens, right? So technical difficulties happen. That's why I put my email here. Okay. Email, email, email. Okay, if you have questions, if something happens, if I can't get to your question here, you can email me. You can always get in touch with me uh, and the team. Uh, 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you. The awesomelifegroup.com. All right. It is possible. You can get to the other side. You can have good credit. It's possible. Okay. My mentor, my ex paid off an account less than the full balance. Now it's stuck on my experience report with late payments. No, it's not stuck. In fact, it's settled. It's paid. You can dispute this negative, nasty, erroneous item, okay? This unverified account, you can dispute this, okay? It's settled. Now, here's the thing. Oftentimes, when things are settled, oftentimes when they've gotten their um, resources and their money, they're not trying to sit there and quote, unquote, verify, right? pretend and hit the buttons on their computer through the e-Oscar system on this and just say, yeah, verify, verify, verify without sending anything in any type of uh, contracts to substantiate it. What they want to do is get their cash money, which they already got. They can't get any more. They can't get a double enrichment. So now they're like, ah, well, whatever. And oftentimes those types of things can't be or won't be verified within the 30 day period. And you can get to the other side and get this stuff off. And I'm sorry about your ex and I apologize. Um, I'm sorry, you know, that stuff like that happens, right? That, about your ex. I'm sorry that things happen to people right now or sitting there thinking, hey, man, I'm going through it. I, I'm going through a breakup or divorce or something like this. It's jacked on my credit. Look, I'm sorry that you're going through that, but you can take care of the credit side, okay? I know this is the side that I can help. Tony De Jesus said, I got my BK off, said it twice, all, all caps and all these uh, exclamation points. I got my bankruptcy off, this person said. Tony De Jesus has put it there twice. You can see right there. This person said they got their bankruptcy off. You can do it, right? Just like I was talking about. Maybe you're going through something right now. Maybe your ex jacked up your credit or maybe you had to file for bankruptcy or whatever happened, right? You can get to the other side. You can get this stuff off there. This stuff doesn't have to plague you for the seven, the eight, nine, ten years or whatever, right? That it's been plaguing you. Do this now. You can do it. 609creditpair.com. We can do the work for the awesome life people, okay? All right. Shiv. Shiv, Shiv, Tal Talentine, uh, Brandon, the goat. All right, thank you. Just ordered your package. Been prepping my letters all day. That's right, all day, all day. That's what we do all day. That's what I'm saying. Prepping, working all day. That's what I've been doing. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, sitting here doing the emails, sending out the letters, working with the team, helping y'all get to the side. Like, I gotta, I gotta answer some questions. I'm getting hyped. So this is what happens. I get hyped up. I get pumped up. I put my email address here again. 
just in case if I miss any of your questions. And I can email you. Not only can I email you, but I can make videos for you as well on this channel. So please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications because you might see your video. You might see videos tailored for you, okay? Okay, so you've got... so. Future Doc says they've got some apartment stuff, maybe an apartment collection or something like this, right? We've seen people with this, right? Apartment collections. They try and maybe list it as an eviction. Now, first and foremost, if it's an eviction, it has to go through a very specific process, okay? It can't just be uh, stuff that you owe, and now that they're saying, oh, well, it's an eviction. No, 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 no. It doesn't work quite like that, okay? That's a very specific process. And they've got to serve uh, certain papers and get you out of there. And if you left early, right, and maybe the, the, the lease uh, wasn't, uh, finished properly or whatnot and we don't know i don't know what happened because oftentimes once they lease the place they've got to let you out of that lease so if you leave early and they have a new tenant in there you never know what these people are doing trying to get paid twice and all this you never know right so this is why it's very important that you dispute these negative nasty of uh, uh collections now if it's just a collection right you can dispute this the same way now if it's an eviction you can put pressure on them to prove that it was in fact that and if it's classified as wrong it needs to be deleted right it needs to be out of there this is why individuals can get these negative, nasty, inaccurate, obsolete, outdated, and unverified information out of there because oftentimes, not only are they not reporting it properly and the people are not doing it and holding the right documents to substantiate it, but the bureaus are not um, all in line. So somebody might have like years in apartment complex and then it was a collection on one and eviction on the other and it's not even on the others, right? That's another reason. There's so many points they have to get right on the Fair Credit Reporting Act Fact of Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, Fair Billing Act, all these acts that are for you, for your protection. 609CreditPair.com, you get the Beyond Community Package. It's got a list of all sorts of um, acts for you and viol potential violations that are in there. It's in there for you. You can use as leverage to get these negative, nasty, erroneous items off of there, all right? Can a secured card help your credit? Can it hurt your credit? What's up with secured cards? Okay, secured cards can help your credit, okay? However, in the long term, a secured card, you really want to find one that can be turned into an unsecured card. I believe Capital One does those. Um, you can talk to them. Okay, Discover might as well. Um, so you want to look into this because long term, having uh, unsecured credit looks better. It looks a little less high risk. Okay, The secured card in the short term can be good, though. can help boost your score. Uh, they can help for a period of time. And they can get you to where you need to be, right? To where you can get positive trade lines. What we say here oftentimes is if you can qualify and if it's in your budget and you can do an unsecured store card with my Jewelers Club card or New Post Direct, it's going to be an unsecured card. It's going to be something that is designed for individuals who might be, you know, building their credit in the, you know, starting out phase again, maybe in the 500s again. So you, you could potentially qualify for it. And you're going to have primary credit in your name, unsecured, 5,000 in each one, right? My Jewelers Club card and New Coast Direct, right? So that can help you as well, right? Okay, but if you've got a secured card, you're watching this now, I'm like, oh, I didn't know all that. And thank you so much. And the secured card, am I okay? Yeah, you're okay with secured card. In, in fact, self.inc, the self uh, secured loans, they're very good. And often credit unions will do secured loans uh, to help boost credit, right? So um, Navy Fed will do secure stuff other credit unions that i've seen or been a part of will do secure loans and help you build your credit okay there are ways to build your credit when you're you know maybe in those 500s when you're starting out again like i was and that kind of stuff and um also repair it and get these negative items off of that that's what we're here for get you the other side get you in the 700s okay two of my scores in the 715s all right but my trans union 660 all right late payments uh yeah. Okay. So you can dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous uh, late payments. Okay. You could use goodwill letters or you could dispute the late payments directly with the bureaus. Now, if you want the account off there, you can dispute the entire account. But how? But how is it on uh, TransUnion and not on the other two? So what you can do is you can look at the other two and you can show the discrepancy and you can show them, hey, this stuff needs to be updated to positive because these other bureaus couldn't maintain that either. Right. You need to be able to dispute this. Uh, you need to be able to uh, keep this information on there to be 100% accurate and factual per the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? So you got your goodwill letters, you got your dispute letters, you got the other bureaus to show, to prove that this is not correct. And you can get this 660 up into the 715s, just like everything else that's on there, okay? 
Tony De Jesus said it got the bankruptcy off and disputed with LexisNexis. So froze LexisNexis and disputed the bankruptcy with them right away. Got it out of there and then dispute with the bureaus, okay? Jalen. Oh, yes, Jalen, got your email uh, this morning. That's right, because I'm up early doing the emails, Jalen. That's right. All right, David, I have a 695, went to 750. All right. Oh, I want a 750. Okay, cool. Uh, can we help? Yes. You've got negative, nasty, erroneous items, right? Um, Theawesomelifegroup.com, 609creditpair.com. You can email me, email us, right? Uh, can we help you get to the other side? Yes. It's about, and see, here's the thing. This is why I uh, love it when you email me, because then I get to uh, ask more specific questions. Hey, what's on there now? What negative items? Are Everybody's credit report is different. All the credit reports I've seen, some individuals might have one negative item and a bunch of hard inquiries. And they're at that, you know, 660 mark or 670 mark and they're trying to get the 700s. Yeah. Or sometimes people have uh, 700 credit scores, like, you know, some people here, Philip was saying 715 plus with the other two bureaus, but 600 lagging. And it says, oh, it's because you've only got this one thing on this one credit bureau. Dispute this with this one credit bureau and do this with the other bureaus and, th and that kind of stuff, right? So that's why the emails are so good because you might ask, hey, would this work? This You got to go back and forth a little bit go back and get more specific. That's why the, the Awesome Life Group is so great because you can get very detailed and um, very specific. We want to help you. You know, it's about getting that specificity for you, right? So we're here, I'm here. This is why we do these live streams and live chats and answer your questions, very important, okay? So yes, can we help you get there? Yes, I would just need to know uh, what's on your reports to help you get to the, from the 695 to the 700. And you're very close. It's probably one little thing, something, okay? Okay. GT Transportation, GTE Transportation. Says, thanks, give me a thumbs up, thanks. Uh, I know this individual left a nice uh, testimonial and uh, I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Clarence, MIB sent me a letter stating they did not fr uh, freeze credit. Okay, um, so sometimes these smaller bureaus We'll play games. This is what they're doing, Clarence. You sent a letter to freeze MIB. MIB pretends like you sent a letter to potentially freeze your three bureaus. So MIB, they'll say, oh, well, we don't freeze credit reports. You got to go to the three credit. No, I'm trying to freeze my MIB report. So it's a little stall tactic, a little game they try to play. Okay. All uh, right. Besides the driver's license, what can I use to verify my ID with the credit bureaus? Um, an ID, right? So it doesn't have to be a driver's license. It could be like a state issued ID. Uh, could be a passport. Um, could use a copy of your birth certificate, right? Um, that's a possibility as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, Michael Taylor. Wow. Look at that. Uh, went from 489 to 670 in four months. Need to hit the 700s, right? So very close, very close, very close, right? But that's phenomenal. 489 to 670 in four months. That's great. This individual that said they, uh, this person, said, I took a bit of a, a bit of a diligence on my. I, it took a bit of. Okay, I see. Okay, <laughs> it took some time. So you're just working with it. Okay, but went from 489 to 670 uh, in four months. That's fantastic. That's the thing, you know, 489. Some people, you might be at 589. So you might go from 589 to 670, 700 in four months, right? Um, if you were like, hey, man, I need to get 700 so through 90 days, four months. I mean, that's fantastic, right? So 700 is Michael Taylor. You might be looking at adding more revolving credit, uh, authorized users, primary accounts, right? Depends what you're looking for and what you're trying to do, right? Probably primary accounts, probably boosting up the... Uh, credit utilization, using less credit, 
paying on time, getting any other outstanding negative items off of there, um, getting your personal profile cleaned up, that can help a little bit, and also getting uh, any hard inquiries and non-account holding inquiries out of there, right? Okay. Christy, yes, you can send your 609 dispute letters, yes, and you can send your um, collection validation letters to the collections collectors. You can send those at the same time. You can also send uh, your personal profile letter again, okay? And let them know and show them that they're playing games. And you can file your complaints, the CFPB, you know, if they don't want to uh, do what they're supposed to do to help you, right? This is the type of stuff that they try to do. They try to get over. They try to get away with, all right? 609creditpair.com. We can do the work for the awesome life group.com. Please, uh, if you're watching this, please get the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I also keep doing what I'm doing, okay? BB Burton. It's a great question. Let's get tight. Let's get tight, drum. Let's get tight. Let's get tight. Let's get in here. Are the creditors, the reporting agencies, collectors allowed more time to respond due to the pandemic, to COVID-19, to, to, to the, um, are they allowed more time to respond because of the global pandemic, right? So the, Christy says that. So the Fair Credit Reporting Act says they have 30 days from when they receive the letters, 30 calendar days from when they receive the letters to postmark your response. Has that changed? No, 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 no. Okay. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. Okay. People say, oh, well, the CARES Act changed the FCRA, then that changed the 30 day window. No, no, no. That's still the same. Okay. That's still the same. They have 30 days. They're going to try to play all sorts of games. Well, you know, it's hard. Blah, 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 blah. No. No, it hasn't. Hasn't changed, okay? Black Hippie, what do you do if they do not respond? You send your non-response letter, right? They don't respond on the 30-day uh, calendar days from when they got the letters to postmark your response. You send your non-response letters, and, and you can file your complaints with the CFPB, okay? All right. Sebastian wants to know, can you send me an email? Yes, all right. Email, absolutely. And I'll give everybody my email to make sure that you can email me, all right? If something comes up, it, that's the thing. So we were on the live earlier. Unfortunately, I had a little buffering issue. Something happened on the internet. We're good now, right? Thank goodness, everything's good now. Um, but something happened. So I put my email address here because I get to go and I get to talking and, and I might not get to your question, I might miss it or whatnot. Please email me your questions, right? I can email you. I can do video responses. And also we're probably going to have to get off, um, this live pretty soon. Uh, apologize for the issue. Next week we'll go a little bit longer, but, um, you can jump on the subscribe tribe, the subscribe tribe .com, and you get an email notification when I go live, okay? So the bureaus are playing games. The other two have deleted your charge off, but one of them is playing games, right? Is that what he's saying? Pazooka. Um, you can show them. You can show them the deletions from the other ones. You've got the letters that say, you know, deleted, deleted, deleted. You can take those updated reports and you can send them into the other bureaus with your next round of 609 dispute letters. You can file your complaints and you can... Send your collection validation letters to the collectors, okay? You can do this. You absolutely can do this, okay? Big C, you can send your dispute letters, all right? You can dispute directly with LexisNexis and the three bureaus. And sometimes what we've seen LexisNexis and some of these other smaller bureaus try and play games, oh, we can't find your file. Even the big bureaus now, I'm like, oh, we can't find your file. We can't do this. We're not sure. We're not sure it's you, the, the stall tactic. So we have a stall tactic letter. You can send that. And again, if they don't want to do what they're supposed to do, they are they could potentially be in violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, okay? 609, 611, 1681, all of these acts that are protecting you. But a lot of people don't know that. So a lot of people won't know it. The bureaus try to play games and they get rid of some of the people that don't know their rights and don't want to hold um, people accountable and holding the, their quote-unquote feet to the fire, you know? Okay.
All right. So individuals very close to the 700s only has about 15 points, I said. So revolving credit probably can help in the long term. In the short term, if you want to do authorized user and boost your credit up to that 700 point plus spot where you're looking to get, maybe you get a car note or cashback cards or business credits, things like this, that could help you. Um, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, and this is a good one about authorized user, okay? But Talentine asks, if an authorized user puts you on their card credit, okay? So somebody has a primary credit card, they're putting you as an authorized user, and it increases your credit. Will your credit decrease if you're removed at, from that authorized user account? Not all the time. Sometimes, not all the time, okay? So if you use that authorized user account, you build your credit, you start getting your own primary credit card stuff, you get your own uh, credit repaired. If you get your own things going, then once you come off of that, no, that's not going to be a big deal. But if you get put on an authorized user, you don't do anything and you come off, then potentially it could, right? So utilize the tools, utilize the skill, utilize that to uh, boost up your credit, okay? And that's oftentimes why I'll say uh, my Jewelers Club card, New Coast to Great, getting your own primary trade lines can be very helpful and very strong, okay? And authorized users are very good too, especially if you have friends and family who do it. Um, you know, that can help you get to the that score that you're looking for and get your own primary stuff. And they can leave you on for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, right? So that's always a, a solid way of doing it, okay? Let's see. We've got that and that. All right. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. And see if I was looking to see if I saw your question. I don't know if you have one, but thank you very much. Okay. Ah, great. So it's a good question. Disputing in bankruptcy. That at this person's asking, most gals asking, hey, look, I need to dispute the addresses that are quote unquote tied to this bankruptcy. Who do I dispute with? Can I dispute with LexisNexis, uh, the bureaus, both? So you got LexisNexis, they've got a bunch of addresses on there. Take a look at your LexisNexis reports, everybody. Please look at your LexisNexis reports. They got all sorts of information on you, okay? And dispute and get that negative junk out of there, right? Same thing with the bureaus. Get that stuff out of there. Disassociate yourself with that stuff, okay? Then you can dispute with LexisNexis and the bureaus, get that bankruptcy out of there. We've had individuals get their bankruptcy off, okay? 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at the awesomewifegroup.com. All right. Please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Apologies for the um, live stream technical difficulty there for a minute. And we had to you know, stop for a second and jump and do part two. Uh, but I appreciate y'all jumping on here with me. And uh, next week, we'll go a little bit longer uh, to, to make up for that weird uh, technical issue. I apologize. But thank you so much. Hit the subscribe, try button, that bell for notifications. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.